was one of the masks the ancient warriors had placed on their mounts. Those huge beasts were known as Daiwus, and it had been centuries since any had been seen. Teku only had to find the second coin and bring it to the old lady. Teku gave the last coin to the old lady. The fairy lady would be waiting on the dock until Teku decided to leave. speck on the horizon. Teku had never been off the island before, but he knew that long ago his ancestors had come from across the sea. They told stories about the great exodus when his people were on the verge of disappearing. 
The incessant conflicts between tribes had nearly wiped out the ancient villages, turning their inhabitants into nomads who wandered through the forests and jungles in search of new places to settle. Teku looked up at the starry sky. He had always liked doing that. Then he remembered what his master had taught him on one of his first nights in the village temple. Remember, Deku, the importance of light in this world of darkness. Before creation, the gods were surrounded by darkness in an endless night. When the new world emerged, they gave the stars light that with their glow turned the demons into rocks and huge mountains. It was from the light of the gods that life emerged. That's why the role you have been assigned is so important. When you were born, the stars showed that your destiny was to be a light guide. You have the ability to carry an inextinguishable flame with you. And that's why you must remain at my side. As a shaman, I am a messenger. I was born with the power to communicate with the gods, to ask them to help our people and guide them. And the nexus that joins us to them is the light. Fire. understand now how important this tiny flame is. But be calm. You have nothing to worry about. Your preparation is just beginning. A sudden clap of thunder brought his attention back to the small boat. The waters were starting to get choppy. A thunderstorm was rolling in. Luckily, from the boat, the sailors could now make out the opposite shore. Teku would never have been able to imagine what he was going to find in this unknown place. <laughs> 